But first, major breaking news from iconic American automaker General Motors. GM announcing that the company will be laying off 14,700 factory and white collar workers. Those layoffs follow the news of possible closures of five plants by the end of 2019, including two here at home. The Detroit Hamtramck Assembly in Detroit and the Warren Transmission Operations plants in Ontario, Ohio and Maryland are also stopping production. Our Paula Tubman joining us live now from the Detroit Hamtramck Assembly plant with more on GM's next steps, Paula. Hi, Everett. Good afternoon, everyone. Basically, what GM is saying is it needs to trim costs by about $6 billion by the year 2020. How does it do that? It does it with aggressive cost cutting measures. That means streamlining product lines, idling plants, and of course, as you mentioned, that human capital of getting rid of jobs. Here's a plan GM is laying out today. In 2019, General Motors uses this word, unallocating. It says it is unallocating the following assembly plants. Detroit Hamtramck Assembly Plant in Detroit, Warren Transmission Plant in Warren, Michigan, as well as Lordstown in Warren, Ohio, Baltimore Operations in Maryland, and an Oshawa plant in Ontario. The Associated Press translates the numbers this way. They are reporting that the layoffs will include 14,700 factory and white collar workers in North America. Contract talks with the UAW will happen next year. And a great deal of what happens in those talks will affect what happens when these plants are idled. Or perhaps a better, more accurate way to say that is these plants could possibly go from being idled to close completely depending on what happens with those contract talks next year. And, and not to go unchallenged, the UAW just put out a statement, and this is just a small part of it. They say the callous decision by GM to reduce or cease operations in American plants while opening or increasing production in Mexico and China plants for sale to American consumers is in its implementation profoundly damaging to our American workforce. Obviously, a lot to unpack here, a lot to deep dive into and digest. Business editor Rod Maloney coming in from vacation to work this story. He and I will also be doing a deeper dive in our evening shows. Everod? Yeah, a lot to talk about here, Paula. We'll definitely be checking in with you a little bit later right here on Local 4. Thank you.